Hello guys, uh, welcome back to our channel, Mr. and Mrs. Memory. Uh, today on Point by Travel segment, uh, we are discussing about uh, refund on cancellation flight. Um, according to the DOT, the Department of Transportation, you are entitled to a refund uh, to the original uh, purchase, how you make your purchase. And I'm assuming that most of you guys make your purchase through uh, credit card, because credit card gives you a good protection, trust me. Uh, especially during the pandemic right now. Nowadays, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, as you can see in the world right now, the UK is also on a new lockdown or a restricted uh, traveling to the country, borders closing. Uh, where we where we at in California, we have extensive uh, stay at home order, so we can't go here, there. So yeah, example, if I book my flight to the UK, say hypothetically, to the UK, and they close the border. Oh, I'm panicked. What should I do? You're assuming that the airline will give you the, a full refund back. Most of the time, the airline will give you what? A voucher. The reason why an airline gives you a voucher because they want cash positive flow in their um, account. So in case something happens, they can use that money to uh, to what you call to uh, just to solve or resolve any type of issue or problem they have during that time. If they give you a voucher, it's good for one year. I mean, yeah, voucher is good, but you actually want the cash, especially right now we're all uh, cash strapped. It's really hard and you don't know what's going to happen in the future and stuff like that so you know you don't ever know if the company can bell up uh, belly up or not you know but i do want to mention about the voucher if they do offer a voucher it is tempting to take it but if they really do offer a real good for example a 20 percent bonus on it or a complimentary um uh upgrade for example from economic to premium economic you might consider that, or they might give you, okay, we gotta give you extra 5,000 mileage to your member point or, you know, whatever it is. Yes, that's maybe a consideration, but you are still entitled to that, um, to the refund. Okay, what happened if the airline did not give you that refund and, and you said, I don't want the voucher, I want my money back. So in the credit card um, world, it's called HECA, all right? Hang up and call again. So you hang or you call and they say, okay, I'm sorry, we can't, we can't give you a refund, I'm going to give you a voucher. You do that a couple of times. And if that couple of times you still have the same result, the next thing you could do is, again, as I said, hopefully you pay your, your, uh, your airfare by, um, by your credit card. Then you find a dispute with your credit card company. While you find a dispute, uh, dispute with your credit card company, while you're at it, why not file a complaint with the DOT, the Department of Transportation, website about the issue they're not giving a the refund stuff because you are entitled to that refund uh to get the you know to the original um original payment method whatever it is um on that so this is a short um segment on it of refund on cancellation um a flight if you have any concern or comment or anything uh, uh comment below i'll get back to you all right thank you